Hello squad, welcome to the Bob Ross Hour of Drawing. Actually, it's going to be the Pat Mac Few Minutes of Perspective Drawing. Now, perspective drawing, two-point perspective, is very beneficial to know in the event we want to maybe fashion a piece of furniture or work on some architecture or agriculture or landscaping around our home. That way we're not drawing a, <clears throat> a first grade version of a house, but something that looks a little more professional. Plus, it's a really cool thing to show your kids in, in the event they don't know how to do it. Um, now, typically, we'd be working on something like this, but you wouldn't be able to see that. So I've got this dry erase board, which means my lines not might be as straight, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. So I went ahead and started prepping my medium here. I've got measurements. Uh, so that way, if I draw any vertical lines or straight up and downs, and I started with a horizon line. And then these are my points right here because this is called a two-point perspective drawing, where any freaking lines along the horizon line are gonna merge with these points. So let's say we wanna draw a simple house. That's, that's gonna be our project, just a simple house. We wanna make sure we go straight up and down. Now, typically, we're gonna use a ruler for this. So we'll line up the twos, and it doesn't matter where they go. Oops. We're just gonna draw a couple lines there. Two, and I'll go on the four here too. Four ish, four, boom. <clears throat> and then I go for my vanishing points and connect these two guys. Boom, like that. Connect these two guys, like that, that. And then we also connect out here to these vanishing points. So vanishing point, well, I'm a little far from that. My ruler doesn't reach, but you catch the gist, catch the drift. And vanishing point to that one. And then my verticals again. Let's go with about seven. Now nah, let's go eight, sure. All right, so sort of like that right there. So we have the makings of a, of a uh, box. We also want to do, do an apex here. So how do we find the center? We draw an X into this guy. Because we need to find the center of this. So an X from corner to corner. So that's the center, and then we need to go vertical with it. So vertical is about... That three-ish mark, straight vertical, and that is the apex right there, boom. And then same thing with the vanishing point, or I mean not the vanishing point, but with the, with the corner of the house. That becomes our vanishing point for the apex, up that way, down this way, and then... <clears throat> Vanishing point all the way across. Like I said, I don't have enough ruler here, but you'll catch the, the my drift. My vanishing point to the apex. To find this center, I would do the same thing. I would just draw an invisible side to this house. So an invisible side to this one. Invisible side, straight up and down, seven-ish, and then do the same thing. Draw that X in there, find that X to find the center, like that, and then just erase this afterwards, because we won't need that. But that's how I would find the center of that side. <clears throat> I could extend this out, and Go from this vanishing point to there and erase this to make a little lip. Get that one out of there. Get him out of there. Get these guys out of there. <clears throat> so we've got the makings of a structure. Any windows that we uh, want to put in, we're going to do the same thing. Where we go, let's say, two and a half. Straight up and down, three and a half, straight up and down, vanishing point, across, vanishing point, 
across. Boom. And just erase all the all the what remains. Same thing with the door. I'll go straight up and down. Let's go five and a half. Let's go six and a half. And then to my vanishing point across. Erase that crap out of there. Now, <clears throat> let's say I wanted to draw a fence or a tree line. This is a pretty cool thing to know how to do. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start my fence line like this. From the vanishing points. And I'm gonna measure and put one directly in the center too. Of course, I'm not measuring. I'm simulating that I'm measuring here. And I'm gonna make my first tent pole, or my first uh, fence pole, right about in there. With the second one, I'm gonna kinda wing it. Where do I want it? Let's say seven and a half mark. Now, where does the next one go? Well, the next one is going to go right there. And the next one goes right there. Or, uh, we wait about in there. And the next one right there. Etc. Until we're done with that. And then all this crap gets erased. And then we could just go on and on and on with it all the way down and we'll have them evenly spaced just the way we want them to. If we wanted to draw any foliage, you don't have to get super crazy artistic with it. You don't need to be that good of a uh, artist. Uh, a, 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 um, conifer, like pine tree, just it starts some, with something like that right there and you can just work it down on one side. Work it down, work it down, work it down and then work it down on the other side. You're just scribbling on down. Just like that right there. Put another one in there. And then if it's deciduous, we have this in here. Don't get super artistic with it. Just a lot of squigglies, a couple branches. Nice fat stump. And then just bush them in. Draw a little mountain line back here. Not, not mountain line, but mountain line. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, just a kind of a quick down and dirty on two point perspective drawing. Uh, yeah, it's the making of a pretty good drawing. Anyway, hope this was beneficial. Rock and roll, thank you.